In this video, we are going to find the shortest way to find the value of a complex number raised to any exponent or any power. So for instance, we have been asked to find the value of i raised to the power 100. Let's see the shortest way to find the answer to this. Before we do this, before we proceed, there are some properties that you should know. First of all, you have to know that i is equal to root of negative 1. i is equal to root of negative 1. i squared is equal to negative 1. i cube is equal to negative i. i raised to the power 4 is equal to 1 and i raised to the power 5 is equal to i. So if you are able to memorize this, you are able to go. So if you are able to know this, then you would be able to find the value of i raised to the power any number. So let's see the shortest way to approach this. So to find i raised to the power any number, let's say i raised to the power n. The first step is divide n by 4. So when you divide n by 4 and you have a remainder raise i to the power the remainder so this becomes n divided by 4 that gives us a remainder so i raised to the power a remainder let's take an example let's say you are asked to find i raised to the power 10. so the value of n here is 10. So we divide n by 4, which is 10 divided by 4. We have a remainder of 2. So the answer becomes i raised to the power 2. And we know that, we already know that i raised to the power 2 is equal to negative 1. So therefore, i raised to the power 10. i raised to the power 10 is equal to negative 1. Let's take another example. i raised to the power 22. So this becomes 22 divided by 4. That gives us a remainder of, that gives us 5 and a remainder of 2. What we are only interested in is a remainder. So this becomes i raised to the power 2, which is the same as negative 1. Let's take another example. Find the value of i raised to the power 100. n here is 100. So we have 100 divided by 4, that gives us 25 and the remainder of 0. What we are only interested in is our remainder. So we have i raised to the power 0. And you already know that any number raised to the power 0 is 1. Okay, let's take the last example. So the last example we have here is i raised to the power 105. So i raised to the power 105. So we have 105 divided by 4. 
what we are only interested in is a remainder so we know that um 105 divided by 4 could be 26 remainder 1 so i raised to the power 1 is the same as root of negative 1 i raised to the power 1 is the same as i which is root of negative 1 Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more shortcuts and calculator approach.